bread lovers, your mold menace might be held at bay for up to two months. And in, in the studies that we did, we were able to get a piece of bread treated for 10 seconds in our microzap technology that had the same mold content 60 days later after treatment that the piece of bread had when it came out of the, the loaf at the very beginning. Lubbock, Texas-based MicroZap Incorporated thinks it struck microwave gold, a modified machine that keeps your bread, amongst other things, from going bad. It's the same, it's the same uh, frequency, it's 2.45 gigahertz, and uh, the difference is that we have a much higher electric field, much higher power density. The bread or other food product gets bombarded with rays through this microwave belt developed and researched at Texas Tech University. The company's CEO says the process could eliminate a baker's need for preservatives to increase bread shelf life. You could reduce the cost on preservatives and offer a fresh loaf and get com customers coming to you because you now have a product that they, they are seeking, that they've wanted for a long time. The demand of that, I think you could offer a premium to offset those costs. But more importantly, the process could stop food spoilage. Unrefrigerated bread in a plastic bag goes bad in about 10 days, so a 60-day lease on life is a fresh idea. In the UK, North America, and the US, we're talking a third to maybe 40 percent of all food is thrown away as waste. Uh, that's just, that, that's truly unacceptable. It's technology that would benefit developing countries that need aid. Uh, most of the products that are shipped over there are grain products, and one of the primary limitations we have are during transportation and spoilage, and that is due to the mold spores and the growth in the product, making it unfit for human consumption. MicroZap's goal is to get a commercial baker to put one of these on its production line, yet there are characteristics a microwave zap won't improve. It won't keep bread from going stale. Jamon Associated Press, Dallas.